we go to user preference from edit user preferences so time units here we show the units format hours and your decimal if one if two it will go like that so we put zero duration format and here units per time format we want to show it as percentage or units per duration like that and here hours per time period here users can change it because admin allow him to change it so remember it's 40 and 2000 close when we specify when we specify the hours per time period for the admin we mark here to allow user to specify the number of work if we remove this now it's 48 and 2288 close from edit user preference so it changed it now because admin don't allow to user to change hours per time period but it's better we say to let him change too much the calendars of each project so we back to user preferences about dates we show his date show his date by format and also time format or do not show if you don't want to show it and here four digits and month so all these general settings about currency this is important we must show us our currency from here we can also we can add now it's dollar show currency symbol and about email protocol we can insert our e our email here or we show is M A P I and this is messaging application programming interface we use it to share mail message with each other we keep it internet and we can use it. Uh, put it user email here and assistance if you want to show results for resource and activities if you go to resources and add a new resource that's what we say wizard resource wizard we back to home edit user preferences okay what application here if you want to change the startup windows and application log file if we want to record our actions in a log file we mark here if we want and here if we deal with financial periods to show columns of financial periods then password if we want to change Braver 6 password when we start the program we can change it from here resource analysis and here to specify projects that included a remaining value calculations so we can choose all closed projects or all closed project with a leveling priority one or two or open the projects only and here we can choose remaining error dates or forecast dates this is to specify dates and time interval used to calculate time distribution date for resource spreadsheets and the profiles so from here we can change and now calculations here if we add or remove resource assignment to activities so to preserve the unit duration or recalculate units and duration 
and also here assignment stuffing if I assign resource to activity so it's better ask me to select each time I assign and here also and startup filters about startup filters it's are disabled for stand alone inter base installation so when we install the program if we choose stand alone it will be not available for us and then the last thing it's calendars from enterprise we go to calendars here we can add calendars so we can add new calendars from add this is add we can choose we can make it six hour per six days for one week so we can add what we want six hour per six days for one week it's depend on our projects and when we add the projects we can assign and add our calendars to here and also we can add for resources calendars also we can add resource and for a project also we can add from here calendars and this is the end of lesson 2